Guys, before you go on to this clip, please don't forget to press the subscribe button for more content like this. We post all our clips on this channel from the podcast. I know you're going to enjoy this quite a lot. So I was recently sitting in a meditation retreat for 10 days, right? And I've done the same thing in America and I was doing it in India right now. It was so weird and it's kind of funny. I was sitting there and every like one or two minutes somebody would burp or fart because you're silent. Achha, by the way, I didn't mention this. You're 10 days, you're silent. And the only noise I was hearing in India was burps and farts. And I kept thinking to myself, this was not like this when I was doing it in America. And my sentiment is, Indians specifically burp and fart maybe 10 times more than anywhere else that I've ever been. And why I'm bringing this up is not out of disgust, but that is a primary marker that something that you're eating is not sitting well, because why else would you want to burp every 10 or 15 or 20 minutes? In fact, this is a very astute and very hilarious observation, because you're absolutely right. When people come to me, I go very in-depth in potty questions. Hmm. And a lot of people in India actually define burping as acidity. Yeah, I would think that. What else is it? No, acidity is jalan, burning. Haan, jalan, right, right, right. But burping is actually wind and gas. So it could be two reasons. One, pe people in India talk too much. So they are <laughs> swallowing in a lot of air. Or genuinely, you know, we have been sold that milk is really good. And I hope I don't, the, the dairy industry doesn't uh, is coming for you. assassinate me for this. But milk, milk is amazingly beautiful. Right. It is nutritious. Hmm. But if your gene doesn't agree with it, it's and your bad. and your dadi ma has told you that milk is the most important thing, I think in 2024 you just need to recheck whether you digest milk or not. Like I love milk. Right. I will endorse few milk brands, but only for the people who can digest milk. Dude, you. I'll tell you what. My best friend from school, every morning. This is every morning. He would run from his mother, who would carry a milk. Pike ja every morning and we would laugh at him, right? Then I hear about lactose intolerance in my 20s. I call this guy up. I'm like, brother, now I understand why you never wanted milk. It was never about taste. Because nobody's sitting in with you in the bathroom when you're having the loose motions. Yeah, you could never digest it. He's like, bro, what is this called lactose intolerance? He's 25 at this point, running away from milk all his life. Everybody's laughed at him in school for this because his mother's always like, beta, dood pike ja. Turns out, the man cannot digest this shit. So the thing over here is that they still in North India, more than I think 50% of the population can digest milk. Yeah. And I'll share the story with you. The climate in North from 1000, 2000 years ago was cold. So milk didn't spoil that fast. Right. The climate in South India was hot. Hotter, yeah. So milk from the cow would spoil faster. Therefore, dahi. Mm -hmm. now, when you ferment milk or it breaks down, Lactose is broken down by the lactobacillus and therefore the lactose level comes very low. So your South Indian gene didn't have to process milk because the curd was the number one factor. Right. Now with refrigeration and modern urban India and the fridge, our thought processes drink more milk in South India. But you are lactose intolerant genetically from years of drinking spoiled milk or dahi wala milk. Right. Dahi. Hmm. So the North Indians have a more powerful gene towards digesting milk, mm -hmm. whereas the South Indians have a less strong gene strong for that. Gene. Well, we live in cosmopolitan cities. Uh, a North Indian marries a South Indian. A uh, West Bengal marries a Goan. You're just not conscious of this stuff. Like nobody knows. And then your children basically inherit the genes. And now you're like, okay, but it's really good for your health. I would say to people, just get tested. Just get tested. Just get tested. And that farting and burping in your meditation class is because everyone's doing chai, pani, coffee with little bit dude. So that's going in and maybe fermenting. What about gluten? Do you, do you not think like, I think we are so gluten heavy as eaters in India. And my view is maybe not everybody's gluten tolerant. Because I removed gluten and I stopped farting and burping. So Prakar, I wrote a book called Wheatless. I see it somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I was here. Yes. So, so the reason I wrote Wheatless is because I'm no pal one. I've been on the college powerlifting team. Very few people believe this. Really? And, and the gold gold medal winning powerlifting team. So I was this skinny kid in college. Right. Couldn't put on muscle. I would have so much of bread and milk. And I had adult acne till the age of 36 till I did my genetic testing. I wrote the book Wheatless because 
nobody including medical doctors and even today dermatologically conditions and gut related problems doctors even in cancer are telling people eat what you want that is wrong yeah there is a bio individuality to a person the way humans have evolved today we are eating all foods but if we lived more than 100 years ago we didn't eat all foods we got what was there and that was very limited choices of only 6 to 8 foods right prakar so when you talk about gluten intolerance the reason i wrote the book is millions of people do not know that they should not be eating gehu barley and rai because gluten is this protein that cannot digest so the point is not everyone can afford a nutritionist not anyone does the testing but a simple way to do a self homemade test is for anyone who has acne pimples burning fa- farting explodes explosive potty a better boom it comes out it should come out slow and steady i'm sorry i'm being a little bit gross on no, your no, show you, you, this is not gross to me this is my everyday conversation <laughs> So uh you know kids going to potty four times a day yeah very bad severe acne i mean i've pitted for life and it's because nobody told me that i shouldn't eat bread bread yeah just avoid wheat based items which is biscuit pastries croissant bao pan white bread sliced bread go for gluten free bread or go for gluten free biscuits which are part of the junk food yeah okay rotis will become jowar bajra amrad not gehu ka roti mm-hmm. not barli ka roti and basically what's going to happen do this for 30 days and see the difference see the difference your potty gets better you go only once a day or twice a day right uh, you stop stop farting more mm-hmm. your skin clears up now you want to do one thing add a little bit of dairy elimination over there mm. skin starts glowing you've discovered it now ask yourself will you be slave to your taste buds Or, or you want better health or you have you have you have, you know people say mere ko enlightenment chahiye bhai pehle khane ke andar enlightenment ban kar pehle ghar mein khush rahe fir enlightenment ki baat kariyo ha so that's a simple thing right? right and this is why you will see that your grandfather or my grandfather your father or my father by the time they are in their 40s or 50s they know exactly what they want to eat yeah kyunki aapne trial and error kar diya right to beta doodh peene ka hai at 30 you will give thappa to anyone ah. who says i i tell i go home to my mom hey, you keep quiet you big shot nutritionist you ate bread all your life you can eat bread now i don't go home now much to eat with my mom yeah because it's risky you don't wanna, you don't want to basically tell your mom keep i don't want to eat from your hand but over a period of time she's begun to understand because she's read my book she's watched the podcast and now she tells me i think even i am gluten intolerant you are preaching to the choir i cannot convince my dad i'm like listen if you just stop eating roti na i think you'll do much better main kaise roti chhod dun main to bachpan se roti kha raha hu so that that argument it's very difficult to convince your parents when so how i do it with the 60s plus people is i just say do the food intolerance blood test and do the genetic test why hmm. Like for example, my food allergy test just came back last week. I keep doing it every six months. When I'm a nutritionist, I want to play around with stuff, mm-hmm. so I purposely eat food and see what happens. Does it go up in the blood test or not? The food allergy t- intolerance test. So for me, wheat, wheat now because I've been avoiding it for a decade has come in the green. But my genetics has said that I am allergic to wheat. Mm. So purposely, I'll go once in a way and eat gluten. Now that next day, my potty goes off, my full sinuses get clogged, and yep. I do it two days in a row. I get a massive headache. राइट सी हेडेक्स कैन यू इमेजिन लाइक पीपल डोंट रियल हेडेक हो रहा है गोली खा लो अरे हो सकता है तुमने कुछ गलत खाया हो इसलिए हेडेक हो रहा हो फ्रॉम सुइसाइड टू हेडेक्स टू बैड पॉटी टू बैड स्किन इट इज इन योर फूड राइट एंड फास्टिंग रिप्रेजेंट्स द ग्रेटेस्ट हीलर इन माय ओपिनियन बिकॉज़ द ह्यूमन रेस इज जस्ट ईटिंग टू मच एंड व्हेन यू ब्रेक योर फास्ट डोंट ईट आउटसाइड फूड राइट घर का खाना ब्रो अगर ये सुन के आपको मजा आया किसी भी एंड तक अगर आप यहां तक देख रहे हो तो मजा आया ठीक है अपने आप से बात मत करो फालतू की एक काम करो सब्सक्राइब सब्सक्राइब ट्रस्ट मी ट्रस्ट मी